Hi there, this is Andres. And as you know me, this is a video trip report for my recent Pantanal tour. Let's get right into it, right now. So this is uh, Brazil, as you can see, or uh, Pantanal tour takes place in this big, big, big city, but kind of in the center of it. Um, even though the country is so huge, we barely scratch the surface, even if in the biggest of the states, Mato Grosso. And we start the tour in the city of Cuiabá, which uh, you can see here, uh, with a visit to the Cerrado ecosystem. Okay, so we start the tour with a pre-done drive towards the city of Chapada de Guimarães. This is our driver, very reliable and very nice, Antonio. And we are driving here into the Cerrado from the airport of Cuyabán, as I told you, which is the hub for this tour. We drive around uh, this highway here until we get to the Chapada dos Guimaraes, a small city that it is located right in these cliffs. You can see there. So we gain some 500 meters of elevation until we get to this plateau. And this plateau has an ecosystem which is doesn't look that nice. It's very short, stunted forest, but this is where we do our birding, and it holds awesome things like this cold crested finch, for instance, uh, a bird so beautiful that it is always a target for the tour. I even got a lifer for me, this particular one here is one that I've been looking for for a while, the rufous-sided scrub tyrant. All the things that are in the Cerrado that we birded for a couple of days, really the first two days of the tour, are this uh, crested black tyrant and this uh, blue-winged macaw, which allowed us very nice views close up. We had a few of the Cerrado specialties, like this black-throated saltator, and uh, a few more of the specialties include uh, a um, rusty backed Andren like uh, in here, a shrike like Tanager. We had uh, this checkered woodpecker, which is not normally easy to see, but we actually had really nice, nice views of checkered woodpecker. Uh, white rumped Tanager, which is very, very loud and uh, beautiful actually, it comes into play by very nicely. But this is the key, this is the one that everybody loved, everybody was. Uh, sad at the very beginning because for the longest time we couldn't see it. It was uh, a little bit difficult to, to uh, find, but once we got a nice um, male, it came out nicely and uh, posed and sang for us. Now, I have to say this is footage from a different tour, but it did exactly the same, so it's worth it. It's worth putting it here. The Cerrado also holds a couple of gallery forests, and in this gallery forest we have species that are very different, like this lettered Arasari or Amazonian Mudmot. And yes, there are a little bit more Amazon in these, these areas here, but still, all, and also we have other birds that are in the Amazon as well, like this black-fronted non-bird or this yellow-tufted woodpecker. Now, this noisy guy, let's hear it. Yeah, so this is a red-legged Seriema. And this was a big, big target of the Cerrado. And the Northern Pantanal, really, and I was really happy that uh, we spotted it on the second day of the tour because we didn't see it more. Then we moved uh, in one of these uh, days, we moved to have lunch in a very cool restaurant that overlooks those cliffs that I was telling you. And it has a vast amount of food and a ton of varieties. It's quite nice. Uh, this, uh, it's, it's actually quite common in Brazil to have these self-service restaurants that are very well stocked. But then the, the second day of the tour, we had to head back from Chapada dos Guimarães all the way back through the same cliffs uh, to, again, our um, hub city of Cuiabá. And there we just uh, took a plane and we needed to fly towards the north of the state, all the way to the city of Alta Floresta. It was a little tricky this time because the flight got delayed. It was kind of a, an annoyance. We couldn't have any lunch that day because of the delay of the planes, they, uh, it was annoying. But afterwards we managed to uh, bird a little bit on the way to Cristalino and we got this specialty here, a point-tail palm creeper, which is a bird that we always target in these palm groups there, together with a couple of other things that we saw there. And then we finish up moving towards the 
Amazon rainforest. And you can see here how we are in the Telespiris River there, the big one. But we take this small tributary that is the Cristalino River and get to our lodge, the Cristalino Jungle Lodge, which is a very, very nice place to stay. Very nice. So here we are in the Amazon rainforest now. Okay, and we get through the Cristalino River, as I told you, and we always have, it's just beautiful getting into this dock here, which is uh, very nice. Then we walk in these uh, boardwalks of uh, Cristalino and finish up in the main area, always for a welcome drink. So here we are, just enjoy this um, beautiful place as one of the participants. <laughs> And this is the bar and uh, restaurant area. Here you order some cocktails and um, have some drinks whenever you feel like. Um, this is a very nice fireplace that uh, the place has. There is a conference room in the far side there, as you can see. And um, yeah, the restaurant is towards the right. But when we start birding, the first thing you do in the Amazon, or you try to do in the Amazon, is going up to one of the canopy towers. And this canopy tower is actually named after the famous Ted Parker. And on the top of the Amazon, uh, the canopy, is where most of the um, action occurs. And this is the main bird that we saw there, being honest. A very distant, but still mighty harpy eagle. We actually saw it twice in this tour, the twice that we uh, climbed up both towers. Another of the we got, this uh, black girdle barbet. And uh, this is a picture that I'm really happy with. Very, very nice, a yellow shouldered grosbeak in awesome light. Um, Bar-bellied uh, piculet is a very cool bird that we got in uh, one of the towers. Uh, as I told you, we visited two towers. Um, we don't only get birds, we also get some mammals, like this white whiskered um, spider monkey, as you can see. And uh, macaws are always around here in, the, in both towers that Cristalino has. In two different days, we obviously visited the towers. White-bellied parrot is a fairly common species, I would say, that we can see from the towers. And this was another of the targets that actually costed us to get, I have to say, we went three times up the tower this time because of this particular bird. Happily, we got it. Now, birding, the bottom of the Amazon rainforest is a different thing. Here's the group uh, waiting until this guy showed up. This is a banded ant bird that it gave us very, very nice views. It's a tough bird there. And another one that we always target in Cristalino in this part, of, this southern part of the Amazon is this um, blue cheek jacamar. Why they distribute it? Uh, also in the Pantanal, this is also tough to get normally. It's a green and rufous king fisher. And another specialty of the southern Amazon is a bronzy jacamar. We got it always from the uh, ground, really. Uh, a slender build synops, as you can see, a very, very sharp bill. It is not an easy bird to get. And we had luck with a couple of mammals. These everybody saw is red rocket deer. Sadly, only I got to see a taper that crossed in front of the trail once. One of the birds of the trip was this um, Rufus Neck uh, puff bird. And Cristalino has an interesting thing. He has these water uh, feeders that are in the forest that will allow us to see some uh, cryptic birds that are difficult, like these brown uh, wing chiffonis and the Saturnine antrike that we saw before. Even the white winged uh, shrike tanager goes to these uh, water fountains that uh, the people in Cristalino puts in the middle of the forest in the dry season. One of those afternoons, actually, going towards the night, really, we got a long tail to two. We did a ton, a ton of birding also using these canoes. This is our nice local guide, Francisco and he took us to find a few of water-related birds, like um, American pygmy kingfisher. We actually saw five species of kingfishers in those uh, boat rides. Pied lapwing is always a beautiful thing to see on the sides of the river and the borders of the river. Uh, we got this young uh, great black hawk as well, together with like green ibis, uh, a bunch of different herons, a cat heron, but then when we visited the river islands that are also one of the key things, we got things like the Amazonian antrike that you just saw, and of course Amazonian umbrella bird is the key thing to get in the uh, area. Well, one of my favorites, sun bittern. It is quite easy there in the Amazon. Well, after five days we moved to the Pantanal. We left the Amazon behind and again we flew, well, there is a ride that we have to do all the way to Alta Foresta where we had lunch and took a plane and flew back to Cuyaba, or Hub, again. 
And from Cuyaba, we decided, well, we had to drive south through what it is called the Transpantanera Highways, as you can see here. And more or less where you see the green spot there is where the Transpantanera starts. And you can see how green it is around because it's all uh, like a big, big wetland. We started in Pozo Alegre, a small lodge that it is in the northern part of the Pantanal that gave us Campo Flickers, this great Rufus uh, wood creeper is always a big thing to find there, some Hawaiian birds, <laughs> uh, this crested um, cardinal, and we had a show with this beautiful pale-headed woodpecker. Check that out. Yep. Is uh, really going at that uh, ant's nest. And then we moved from that hotel that it is in some drier areas of the Pantanal towards this river here that is the Pishaim River. And in the Pishaim River you have a, a couple of boat rides that we did in which we target things like this black colored hawk that we normally see it in many other places but this is one of the best locations for that one. The same with uh, several of the skin features like ring but this one is a key one here, is the uh, Bantail Night Hawk that always flies at dawn. We also have on the borders of the river, things like pale legged Orneo in the gallery forest and Chotoy Spine Tails around, always in wetlands. Plus we were really, really lucky to find these guys. This is a Nande parakeet or black hooded parakeet. A white headed marsh tar is, all, is always around marshes, and so they are easy to uh, get in these portions. But then we had to drive south through the Transpantanera, and the farther south you go, the wetter it gets. And there is a lot more uh, water-related birds down here. And we did a couple of stops for this particular one. We put some time for the Capitan. <laughs> That's how the locals called this scarlet-hooded blackbird. These guys start to get common here too. These are the southern screamers. But then we finally get got to a uh, Porto Jofre, which is the southernmost area that we got, and this is our hotel, the, the Pantanal Norte. They call it in Porto Jofre, and uh, we have there. You can see it has a swimming pool and it has a very nice wetland where we spend some of the uh, one of the afternoons. But then here is the docks where you see all the boats. And the first thing that you do when you get to Porto Jofre that afternoon is just take the boat and uh, ride through the uh, Cuyaba River in search of the mighty Jaguar. Did we find it? Well, yeah. So this is the first afternoon we got this guy here in, uh, in the Pantanal. You can see that there is also a ton more people that look for them, but then everybody gets to get good views, good pictures. It's an awesome time with, with the Jaguar, and this is the climax of the tour, of course. Especially when you have this thing, we got it trying to catch a caiman. He was moving so slow, so I have to fast forward this because it took forever for him to get ready to jump. But when it did, it jumped. Sadly, it came out empty-handed. Anyways, it was a great experience. Everybody there that was just witnessing the thing didn't move and didn't say a single word. We spend the last afternoon of the tour photographing things like the buff-necked ibis, crested caracaras, rufous cachalotes, uh, but we needed a couple of iconic things as well. So this toco tucan is very nice to find in the um, uh, same area, in the Pantanal Norte, but this one was the key. We had awesome afternoon light on the Hyatts in Macaw. There is no trip to the Pantanal where you don't want to photograph and get good views of these mighty beasts. Yep, the end of the tour just arrived and uh, at the end, basically, after 15 days, we just have to drive all the way back through the Transpantanera and it takes about seven hours to go back to our hub city again, Cuyaba, where we have dinner and talk about the areas where we were. We stopped though in a very iconic place to say goodbye to everybody. Hope you enjoy.